Hey everyone, I wanted to show you something that really helps with this lava game, lava system concept. Uh, and what's kind of cool about it is that based on the sort of caged chord shapes, you can do it in, in any... Hey guys, just hanging out in the garden in the backyard here. Canadian cedars. Um, and the fig, fig tree behind. I wanted to talk about the lava game system. There's a, there's a component, there's different ways of building it. It's a little bit out of order right now, but I wanted to show you this one part that makes a big difference. Um, it's kind of the foundational concept once you start uh, being ready to, to build it. A really great way to think of it is to build it around the cord but maybe not the entire chord, because chords are often structured in the tr European traditional harmony of triads. So those are the three main notes, and they come from um, every, every, every second letter, or every third letter, I guess you could say, if you think of A, B, C, that's three letters away, D, E. So you can have A, then three letters away to C, and then another three letters away to E. This would be the A minor triad. There's a minor and a major. I'm gonna start by showing you the minor triad. And we're gonna learn it in all the different positions. So we're gonna start going up and down, saying the letters, and then you would wanna do that in multiple repetitions till you, till you memorize it again. Um, contact me for lesson plans. Um, Cause just going through something once is overwhelming, right? So we won't need to break it into these little segments and practice. Um, but anyways, here's the triads. A minor, spell the word ace. So that again, that was the first, third, and fifth letter of the A alphabet scale. So we're gonna use an A note, a C note, and an E note. That spells the letters A, C, E, ace, ace. Is the A minor triad. So that's three notes stacked by thirds, A, C, and E. Um, so that's the first position covering the first three smallest strings of your guitar. So we've got A, C, E. So we play them together. We call that the root position, but it's just the first way we can play A, C, and E on those three strings. You go up and we can reorganize the A, C, and E on those three strings, then we get what we call the first inversion, where you have a C note, an E note, and an A note. So C, E, A. Then we can reorganize those notes, that's all inversions are. Find another ace grouping, but they get scrambled. So now we have E on fret nine. A, that's the third string. A on fret 10 of the second string, and C, of fret eight of the small string. So fret nine, fret 10, fret eight. You have E, A, C. So again, root position, A minor, A, C, E. Fifth fret, you can play them all across, whatever fingers you want. A bar often works, first three strings. C, E, A. That's the first inversion of the triad. These are just a big fancy words, it's just A, C, E notes and all the different combinations you can come up with. So if we use those notes as your starting point, like a pivot point or like a home base, and then you can jam around all these other color tones with it. But these are the blue notes that you want to resolve to. So again, Ace, C, E, A, reorganize the letters of Ace, E, A, C, reorganize the letters of Ace. And if you just learn that forwards and backwards, going back and forth, you know your home base for the lava game. What's kind of cool is actually, I'm only showing the first 12 frets, but the first 12 frets are actually just repeated on the next 12 frets. So once you learn the first 12 frets, you know it all. But you'll eventually want to practice up high too. Um, so that was the first three strings. Let's do the next three strings.